Chill. Good morning to everyone. Welcome back to HCS online coaching classes. Children, yesterday in the class we learned about the brief introduction about the advent of Europeans to India. So why the advent of Europeans to India took place? What is the main reason? Mainly because of spices for the purpose of trade they took advent to India. So here before the finding the new seed to India, the relationship between the India and Europe was taking place through the land routes. Which was the land routes? Actually, the land routes was Constantinople. Constantinople was the main center for the trade relation between the Europe and the Asia. So that Constantinople was called as center of European trade as well as gate of European trade. But here, later what happened? These Asian merchandise, they used to carry the goods from the ancient countries and they used to carry to the Constantinople. From Constantinople, these Italian merchants, they used to carry the goods to the European countries. So like this for many more years, the trade relation was going on. But later on, what happened? What is the main reason to find alternative sea routes to India that we are going to discuss in the today's class? See, the fall of Constantinople. Already I told the Constantinople which was calling as the gate, gate of European trade. What happened to this Constantinople? In the year 1453, Ottoman Turks they captured the Constantinople. When the Ottoman Turks captured the Constantinople, it came under the control of the Turks. When it came under the control of the Turks, what happened? These Ottoman Turks, they started to put a heavy taxes on the goods which was carried through this Constantinople. So by the time what happened, what the merchants, they were making the trade transaction, it was not profitable. Why what happened, what the goods they were carrying from the Constantinople to the European countries, they were levying heavy taxes. So if they want to sell that goods, they have to add the taxes to that cost. So because of that, the things or the trade transaction, it was not more profitable for this traders. So after that what happened, to come out from this problem, the other countries of Europe like Spain, Portugal and all, they are thinking to break the monopoly of the Italy. Already in the yesterday class I told you that monopoly means the complete or the entire power to the one country. So that monopoly was gained by the Italy. Only Italy it was getting more profit by this trade contacts. So because of that, to come out from that, the Spain and the Portugal, they thought to break the monopoly. How to break the monopoly? They have to find the alternative sea route. So because of that, they started to increase the sailors. So until that, there was a blind belief among the sailors that the earth is not a spectral shape. When the earth is not in a spectral shape, these sailors were very much afraid to have the sea voyages. But the Henry, the navigator, the famous ruler of this Portugal, the Henry, he himself, uh, he is very much interested in the sailing of the sea voyages. So he supported or he encouraged the sailors who to take the sea voyages because by the time of uh, Renaissance, it was proved that earth is not in the flat shape, it is a spherical. Of course, the Ferdinand Magellan, one who made the circumnavigation of the globe, he proved himself that earth is in the spherical shape. After that, these sailors, they took it as a challenge and they were interested to have the sea voyages. So this is one thing and by the time, here yeah, the Manus Campus, Astrologues and as well as the Gunpowder also invented. These are all has been supported to find the new sea route to India. So these are all the effects of fall of Constantinople. Because of this, the other European countries, they thought to find the new sea route to India. Then how they find the new sea route to India? Who found the new sea route to India? See here, new sea route to India was founded by Vasco da Gama. He was a Portugal sailor. So Vasco da Gama directly didn't find the new sea route to India. Before Vasco da Gama, many more sailors they tried to find the sea route. Among that, Bartholomew Dias. Of course, he reached till the tip of the South Africa, but by seeing the heavy storms, he went back. But when, when he went back to his country, he shared his experience with others. So by listening the story of Bartholomew and Dias, then the Vasco de Gama has inspired and he followed the same route which was followed by the Bartholomew and Dias and at last he will became success to find the sea route. So likewise, this Vasco de Gama, he left the Lisbon and he reached the 
Kappadu, which is in near the Polycult in our present Kerala state in the year 1498. By that time, so this was the great success of the day when Vasco de Gama has reached the India. So, Portuguese, they are the first to re-establish a trade link between the India and the Europe by finding the new zero to India. So, of course, one thing we should understand children, these Portuguese, they are the first one who entered to India and at the same time, they are the last one who left the India. So, likewise, Vasco de Gama, Bartholome Dias and other sailors like the Cabral, Columbus, somebody who is many other sailors, they made their own invention and they found the new islands. So here, Cabral of course he found the Brazil, he is also from the Portuguese, Columbus he found the America, actually Columbus one who found the new land, he thought that it may be India. So the people in that area who were called, uh, looking like a red, so he, they, he called them as a red Indians. But after many days or the years, he came to know that what the land he found, it was not a India. Later on, for the same land when the Amerigo Vespucci went, so with the name of Amerigo Vespucci, that land has called as America. So request other new lands also has found because of the encouragement given to the sailors in the European countries. But here, the new sailor to India was found by Vasco da Gama. He was a Portuguese sailor. He reached India in the year 14. 98. So after this, we are going to learn the next class who are all followed by this Vasco da Gama. Portuguese, of course, they entered to India. Till the other Europeans entered to India, they had a monopoly to have the trade in India. So followed by Portuguese, like the Dutch, English, as well as the French, they too entered to India. Then how they came, what were their major trading centers, and how they ruled in India, everything we are going to discuss in the next class. Until then, have a nice day. Just keep on recording all these things. Bye.